Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how I did this like effortless, like natural glam using just a beauty blender. This is like going to be perfect for when you're trying to go to school, like work and you're late and you want to look glam. Like using the right products and the beauty blender to create a diffused kind of look. It's just amazing. I've been doing this the past few days and it's been like the best thing. I'm going to follow this on when I go home too. So yeah, if you want to see how I did this, what products I used, then stay tuned. I'm going to do my whole face with the Beauty Blender and the reason why is actually because I forgot all my brushes. So I'm going to take an eye primer. This is a Bobbi Brown Enriched, um, Vitamin Enriched, sorry, eye primer. I love this and I think it really does make a difference on your makeup. So if you use any primer for me, it's always an eye primer above a face even though I have oily skin, so it should be a face as well, but I'm not gonna use a face one today. Next for my base, I'm gonna take this Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. This is their new one. I'm in the shade Wheat, and I really do love this Tinted Moisturizer. It's one of my favorites. I'm gonna review it. Um, maybe I should review it individually, but I have tried it out um, these past few days, and I've really loved like the coverage, how it feels on my skin, everything like that. Um, so yeah, this is like a great new find for me. So I am using my fingers to just place it, but you can always blend this with just your fingers, but today I'm gonna use a beauty blender because I just want like a more diffused look, but it is a tinted moisturizer, so you can just blend it like cream, and you can see, like beauty blenders, I really did forget about them. Like I haven't used mine in ages. It just happened to be what I brought with me. Um, and I've been really happy actually doing my makeup like this because all my products you'll see are like creams and like very easy to blend so I've had no trouble with that. This tinted moisturizer is oil free but it still leaves your skin looking very like healthy which I don't know what they put in it but it really does it very nicely. It does feel like it has oil in it but it doesn't. I don't know what they've used. <laughs> now for concealer, I'm taking the NARS Soft Matte Concealer and I love this concealer. I've fallen in love with it again, but even on like an everyday makeup kind of vibe, it's not just for going out. I use it like most days now and it's just got the most beautiful coverage you're gonna see. Like it's full coverage, but it blends and feels so nice. Like, look at that. It just brightens my eye so well and it doesn't feel heavy i just do a bit of this like center of my face i really do like like the look of a very like bright under eye now like i'm really here for it so i just do that and then blend out the edges until you would think like because my concealer is so full coverage but my base isn't it would look kind of weird but it actually looks quite good if i do say so myself like it looks like it still makes sense, you know? Now for bronze, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. It's such a nice blending looking um, contour like bronzer stick thing. <laughs> um, it just looks really nice and I really like it. Since I found it, I have, haven't stopped using it. Like, I usually just take the side of the beauty blender for this instead of like the base or the tip. Much more precise than the base or the tip. So I like having a bit more control um, when I'm doing like it on my cheeks and stuff. I think it's a dream team, like cream products, and beauty blenders. Like why did we all stop using them? Like why did we all go on to brushes? What happened? <laughs> For cheeks, I have loved using this Gucci lipstick as blush. This is the 208 bl um, sorry, <laughs> lipstick that they have. I just apply it on my cheeks like this, like very high as I usually do. And it just is the most beautiful natural color. And then I also put my lips a little bit like this. Because I'm the only one using it, like I can do this, but maybe use a brush if you like share, I don't know. <laughs> blend out my lips very softly. It looks very natural. And then I blend out my blush of my Beauty Blender again. I'm not gonna touch my eyebrows or like put any product in them because I've been liking how my natural eyebrows look. And also I'm not gonna wear mascara today. Um, so it's literally just all base. I'm gonna wear a little bit of lip gloss. I'm gonna wear the Tower 28 um, Lip Jelly and Chill. I really like this lip gloss. 
and I just apply it on top. It's not sticky, it's more like a lip oil, it's really nice. Then for highlight, I'm going to take the Say Rosy Gold Dew Balm. This is so nice, like at first, when you first see it come out of the container, you could call, call this, <laughs> um, it's like really hard, but you need to like warm it up a little bit, and it turns into like a creamy, really nice consistency, and I just do this, like this, it's like a greasy, not greasy, but oily kind of look product I really like that as you know <laughs> so I just apply it on my high points blend it out it blends out really nicely and it just makes the look just look more dewy and effortless and natural in my opinion I know a lot of people don't like like greasy foreheads with that look but I do so I apply it literally just everywhere so this is the like final look it doesn't look like much but it's like very subtle, natural glam. Like I really like how this looks. I've been sporting it these past few days and I really enjoy it. It's very easy, very quick with a beauty blender, that's it. No eye makeup, just your base. So yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you can follow it effortlessly and get your amazing, amazing looks. I will see you again in my next video. Bye.